It is the will of the country. <laughs> the people of Scotland have voted for the SNP on the strength of offering, when the time is right, an independence referendum. Sure. I am asking you to vote SNP, to re-elect me as First Minister, so that I can provide the leadership required to guide us through and out of this pandemic. Getting us through this crisis is my priority. And now, let me repeat again, my focus is getting this country through COVID. We can settle for more Westminster failure with Boris Johnson in the driving seat. Boris Johnson should not be the guy making the decisions about the future of Scotland. The different messages that the nationalists had to work out was how to attract the most support. And initially, they had thought that they would uh, concentrate on their demands for a second independence referendum. So there was talks, quite serious talks, we believe, that on the ballot paper that we got on the last Thursday, it would say, vote SNP to get a second independence referendum. But what happened, we think, is that the SNP, the Nationalists, tested this with uh, focus groups and discovered quite a bit of opposition to it. As the ballot papers were being produced, they changed their message. As we went through the campaign, the, the Nationalists were still talking a lot about uh, in independence referendums. An independent future lies ahead. Through an independent referendum. An independence referendum. But again, there was resistance they felt from their voters or their potential voters. So they changed again. The last couple of days before the election, the switch was basically, it's me, Nicola Sturgeon, or him, Boris Johnson. There was an incredible flurry of activity from the SNP camp on the two days before the election, and even on the day of the election. Thousands of potential SNP supporters were sent postcards and texts as emphasising the view that they should vote for Nicola Sturgeon to stop Boris Johnson, the implication being that Boris Johnson would make a mess up of the recovery from Covid, whereas Nicola Sturgeon would lead the country out to the promised land. They changed the message because although the Scottish National Party only aim is independence, they can't win unless they get other people coming in on their side. They have to get the middle ground. What they're put off by is the continual mention of independence and referendums. If they want you but don't want independence, they, they, sh they, should, they, should, vote vote, they, they should vote for me. Putting that to one side and concentrating on Nicola Sturgeon versus Boris Johnson uh, was a better tactic. And you've got to be frank about this. Boris Johnson is not popular in Scotland. And so mentioning his name is, is a turn-off for many voters. What do we want the recovery to look like? Do okay. we want it one built in the image of Boris Johnson and Douglas Ross and their I mean, band uh, of Brexiteers? Sorry. It seemed to work. There was quite a big middle-class vote against Boris Johnson, and it was remarkable in some constituencies. Although they played down massively the idea of an independence referendum, and as I said, it was no longer on the ballot paper as it might have been. The ink on the results barely dried before Nicola Sturgeon and Meat said that there was a majority in Scotland for independence and an independence referendum. There will be a pro-independence majority in that Scottish Parliament. And people of Scotland have voted for the SNP on the strength of offering, when the time is right, an independence referendum. Sure. It is the will of the country. Now that's a big ask, a big demanded claim, given that it was a, a, an ambition that was largely hidden from the voters during the uh, during the campaign. I'm afraid I've done a lot of elections and uh, voters are always misled by, uh, by parties at election time, but it was pretty blatant, this one, where it was uh, the, uh, the, the, the SNP, the Nationalist Party, tried to pretend that the, the election was not about independence or about the referendum, but it was about Nicola Sturgeon leading Scotland out of the pandemic and the dreadful lockdown we've all been suffering. As misleading statements go, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty straightforward and blatant. But I mean, she's got away with it and, uh, and there's no point in crying over spilt milk. It's been done and uh, 
she's she's won. But the fact is, she didn't win anything like the the victory that she expected. She's only got one extra seat. She hasn't got an, an overall majority. She needed 65 seats for that. She's one short, and although it doesn't sound much, Winston Churchill always said one is enough, and it's certainly uh, enough in this case to stop her claiming she has an outright mandate for uh, both independence and for an independence referendum.